Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, a leaked build, and it's uh, 101 147, uh, and there's two versions of the new build. I'm gonna. This is the build right here. I'm gonna show you guys some screenshots because uh, apparently the new the new way to install it is a little different. So by default, when you load up your ISO or your CD. Uh, I noticed that uh, the margins between the border of the dialog box is a little off. I think that next button is a little too close. Uh, so that's like a little designer flaw. It does request you, it does ask you to put your product key during activation. You need to activate it on the spot. If not, you can skip it. And uh, this, you're able to pick which operating system you want. Uh, on this leak build, it allows you to do either Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview or Windows 10 Home Insider Preview. I picked the Home Edition because I wanted to see how it looks and feels. Then again, during the process of installing the operating system, uh, when the, another window pops up requesting an, a product key, uh, again, you can skip it or you could do this later. Uh, one of the things on this build, which I like, is that it gives you an option on the spot to skip this step. Okay, if you don't want to log in into your Microsoft account to have your Microsoft integrated with Windows 10, you can actually skip it on the spot. I know back then on the older builds, it, you just had to do all kinds of things to uh, get away from it. And uh, when I inserted my VMware 2 CD, so I get all the drivers and stuff up and running, I did notice that the notification is on the bottom rather than the top. This normally you this normally appears at the top portion of it, but it looks like they relocated to the bottom. So what I have right here, I have uh, build one, one zero, I actually have one zero one four seven. And I also have um, 10130. And the reason why I got these two bills is because I want to show you guys what's the difference between both of them, what's new. So off the bat on the taskbar, we got our new browser. It's not called Microsoft Spartan anymore. It's uh, Microsoft Edge, and it looks like they changed the icon to that beautiful, weird-looking E. Uh, so on the old build, which is uh, 10130, they still had their original uh, Project Spartan with the little globe thing. Uh, I did notice, like, on this build right here, on 130, if we go to the start and you go to all apps, and you go into the section with the N, you do see network beta. Uh, up to this point on this build, it doesn't work. It can continue saying it's coming soon. But on the leak build, if you go into the start menu on the leak build, so let me close this up for you guys. And let's go to start and let's go to all apps. And within all apps, let's go into the N section. As you can see, the network beta is disappeared. It's not there anymore. Now on this build on the menu, it looks like they brought back the Fire Explorer settings options right there. That's awesome. I know I had a couple of people uh, stated on comments stating that you are able to uh, enable this and disable this, but I'm kind of happy that it's there by default. I think on the last build, they removed it. So let's go back on this. As in the last build, they removed the Fire Explorer and the settings. And I, I kind of like those two features, regardless if you can enable it or disable it. I just like to have it by default. Another thing that I noticed on the new leaked build on 147, let's go to all apps. And within all apps, let's go into the P section. There's a phone companion. So when I click on that, uh, it looks like you're able to uh, connect your phone uh, to the Windows 10 so you can start sharing information, Like I'm assuming like photos or uh, documents and stuff. On the on build 130, it was not there. So let's go to all apps on 130 and let's go into the P section. And as you can see, we only have people, photos, pictures, and Project Spartan. I'm hoping or I'm hoping that this particular app, this phone companion, is part of on the on the final build of Windows 10 because this is pretty cool, especially for Windows 10 uh, phone users. On Windows 10 build 147. Let's go back into the start menu and all apps. I, you know, again, inside the all apps, there's a lot of cool new features. Uh, let's go into the Git or the G Git Office. This is new. Uh, I'm assuming if you have an Office 365 account, you're able to log in. It gives you a breakdown of all the Office stuff. It doesn't look like you are able to log in at all, but it looks like it just gives you information. But on 130, let's go back into the 130 and uh, let's go to all apps and let's go into the Git. There's no Git Office. 
uh, icon there but it looks like on this build they brought it there now on the league build 147 if we go to start and we go to all apps again this build uh, I, I noticed a lot of apps have been added or removed okay also with the league build a bunch of icons have been changed one of the icons that I noticed off the bat is the map it looks like they have this nice little eyeball camera view icon changed on the build 130 if we go into the build 130 and let's go to the start and let's locate our maps app so let's go to all apps let's go to the m section and as you can see the map looks like a nice little wiggly road map kind of thing another icon that has been changed from the league build 130 this is the mail app as you see you got a nice little envelope and if we go into the league build let's go to all apps and let's go to the m section and within the M section, as you can see, the envelope has changed. It looks a little bit smaller and it looks like it's open. Now on the on build 130, and if the H health and fitness was definitely removed from the leak build. So we're gonna go over here. And as you can see, there's no H at all. So health and fitness was removed. I wonder why they removed it. Now let's take a look at the notification panel with the leak build. So let's go take a look. Let's click on the new uh, notification. And off the bat, the first thing that I notice is you get a quiet hours and you get a note. So the note basically opens up your one note. I'm going to close that up for you guys. And uh, the quiet hours, let's click on that, see what happens. I don't know if anything happens. Nothing's really happening. Uh, but let's go into build 130. And on build 130, let's go into the notifications. And as you can see, there was no one notes or quiet sleep. So those are two new options. And I'm assuming that I'm assuming that the quiet sleep or the quiet hour is uh, for tablet mode. Now mentioning the tablet mode, tablet mode has been changed as well. And so we, let's enable tablet mode within the leak build. And as you can see, the power button and uh, the all apps menu or icon has been added at the lower left side of the tablet mode. Let's go into the old build. And let's enable our tablet mode here. And no, no power button or apps. The, our apps, I believe, if you click on the the hamburger menu, that's where it brings you all the apps. On the leak build, the ha the hamburger menu uh, acts a little different. It gives you the most recent uh, applications or mostly used, as well as it gives you the option for the Fire Explorer settings, powers, and all apps. So uh, that's what the tablet mode uh, has been changed on the leak. I did notice on the leak they brought back the lollipop icon for Cortana. On the 130, it was the nice little circle. I kind of like the circle better than the lollipop version, but I want to know what you guys think about that. Let you leave your comments right below. And uh, this is a modification. And I did notice that when you try to manipulate the sound within tablet mode, let, let's see what happens. So when I click on the sound, my... Um, my start menu is still there, but on the old build on 130, when I click on the speaker to change the volume, it disappears. And another thing that I notice is within build 130, when you when you get out of tablet mode, uh, regardless if you're in full screen, it, everything is minimized inside uh, nice little windows. But for some reason on the, the the leak, it doesn't minimize it. It just keeps it on full screen. So that I don't. I don't really like that option. And the last thing that I noticed is within the Fire Explorer. So on the leak build, it looks like they added music and as well as videos within the frequent folders. So I want to show you guys. Let's go back and build 130 and let's go inside uh, Fire Explorer. And the only options that they give you is desktop, downloads, documents, and pictures. So those are the only two options that they added so far within the Fire Explorer. And that's it, guys. That is the latest leak build, 10147 from Windows 10. This is the home edition. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, hands-on. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom of the video. And do not forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.